What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. And today we're taking a look at the little Google Home Hub. So this was a little toy I bought for myself. I actually bought two, one for the studio and one for the kitchen for the wife to play with. The Google Home Hub is a little seven inch screened home assistant. It's Google Assistant. Um, we'll go quickly through the hardware as it is. So as I mentioned, seven inch diagonal screen. To do, do a couple of options, I've got the white and gray one here. The front is glass, the back white here, this is plastic. Um, gray here is a, actually a fabric material, quite a nice texture to it. Quite a subtle design, it doesn't stand out, shout in your facey. I've just got it set to a clock background there just to make it even more subtle. Um, turn it around to the back, we do have the power adapter. We have a microphone mute button and a physical volume button should you wish to do that. And that is about it. It's a relatively simple design. It's a small little device. Literally all you get in the box is the device, the power supply, and a little booklet, which you don't even really need to use because the moment you plug it in, it tells you what to do. Setup is a breeze. So what will it actually do? Now that is the tricky thing. It'll do what you ask it. Simple as that. Um, I will start with the, there's two main ways of controlling this thing. It is touch screen, so your fingers, and you can talk to it. So you'll start off by a quick swipe up, gives you some effectively settings. So you can adjust the brightness. You can adjust the volume, again, another way. You can put do not disturb mode, set alarms and settings. Go away, uh, exit. It's quite hard to control when you're upside down. And then if we scroll down from the top, Slightly different options for routine. So if you set up a routine for getting home, there we go. You just simply click it and off it goes. Um, you have media where you can select to play something to a other device in the house. Um, you can broadcast, which is like phoning a friend between Google hubs using uh, Google Duo. And I do have my thermostat connected to this as well. Then if we actually go back to the main page and we scroll this way, you've got some quick and easy access to things like your news feed. Um, I've got Spotify connected to this, so I've got my Spotify playlists, things that have been played recently, my YouTube and the f for the night things that you can do. Um, you, it's just common things Google pops up with. So play ocean sounds, uh, what's on my calendar for tomorrow, things like that. So that is the main device, and that is one way of controlling it, is with your finger. Quite intuitive, never had any real problems with it when I'm looking at it. And you can quite easily just open up a YouTube video, um, hopefully click on play. Ah. And there you go, and you can actually pause and play and do things like that. And you can actually cast it to another device from here should you wish to move rooms. You can also ask it to do it for you as well. Um, but the one thing you cannot do, there is no physical way of searching. So you've basically got to hope that what you fancy watching comes up in recommendations, but you can voice search for it. Um, Hey Google, search for tech stream on YouTube. Okay, it didn't recognize my voice there. But there you go, it will do it as long as you speak to it a bit clearer. Uh, that would be my mistake. So that is your, your news feed and your YouTube and your music and things like that. Like I said, there is no physical keyboard or, or any way of typing on this thing to search, but it just comes up with basically what it thinks you want. and it is relatively good. You can also cast to your phone from it, uh, from your phone to it, should I say. So if you're watching something, uh, a lot of apps have, have the casting option, so if you can send it to a Chromecast, you can send it to this as well. Um, obviously, copyrights and things, I'm not allowed to do things like that. Same with the music, I can't show you any music because copyrights, and they will tell me off and take this video down. We don't wanna do that. But it's a great little device, and one of the really handy features that I really liked about it is uh, Hey Google, add cereal to my shopping list. Sure, I added cereal. 
awesome. But then I can also open up my phone and go, hey Google, show me my shopping list. Right, well I genuinely do not know why that is not working. I've done it all week without a problem and in fact I used it earlier on today. Um, so that is something I will have to look at. I've probably pressed something on my phone. Um, but yeah, you can create your shopping list just by speaking to it. So if you open the fridge in your kitchen and you go, oh, I need some milk, you just say, hey Google, add milk to my shopping list. Okay, I added milk. And you can go, hey Google, show me my shopping list. I'm not able to shop for you yet. Oh, it's, it's not able to buy for you. But you can go, hey Google, show me my shopping list. I genuinely do not know why that one was not working. Okay, that is something we will have to look at. They're not perfect. But the other handy thing is, hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? In freshwater tomorrow, it'll be part And there we go. I know what the weather is going to be tomorrow. Handy little things like that. It is an assistant. Think of it as a digital PA, which is what they're meant to be. You can ask it things. You can ask it daft things. Hey Google, want to play a game? There you go. There is actually some games and apps and things you can actually put on these things. All in all, they're a good little thing. One minor issue. Okay, two. They're not perfect, as you can see, they can glitch out randomly every now and again. Um, and they're not cheap. Now, standard price on this unit here, the 7 inch model, is £120. At £120, I think they're a bit pricey for what they are. You have to be a bit of a geek to want one at 120 quid. Um, they're actually on offer at the moment and they're half price. At 60 quid, I think, hey, I, well, I basically I thought, hey, you can't go wrong and pick them up. They're great. Uh, in hindsight, yes, I should have bought them ages ago. They're great. Um, and at 60 pound, you can throw one in every room. Um, you can get the little speakers as well. They do do a big max version as well. And overall, it's been a really awesome little thing to add. They can do so much. And if you are in any doubt as to what it can do for you, if you have the Google Home app, which I believe you can even get for iOS, you can get the Google Assistant, which is basically what this is, on your phone. So you can try out some of the things you want to ask it. Hey Google, set a timer for four minutes. All right, four minutes. There we go. Starting now. Done. And you can do that on the phone and try it out. And it's just little things like that. They're not revolutionary. It is not going to change your life. But what it is, it's a fun little toy that will make life easier. But it is not, it's, they're not revolutionary. Come on. It's, it's Google Assistant and Siri. They've been around for donkey's years. This is just a neat little way of integrating it and sticking it on the side. And it means that you don't have to get your fingers onto the screen when you're trying to scroll through a recipe. Um, the recipe action on it is actually quite good. Uh, hey Google, show me a recipe for burgers. There we go. Okay, here are some recipes. So it will then basically Google search uh, beef burgers. There we go. And you can go through this and you get your ingredients and your what to do. And then you can click on your start cooking and go through that. Do it that way. Uh, you can also add it to your digital cookbook. So all your favorites can be added to there. So if we add that to my Recipe cookbook, um, if we go back and go back, uh, um, uh, hey Google, show me my cookbook. Sure, your cookbook. There we go. And there it is in my cookbook as my list of effectively favorites. Um, all in all, been a great little thing. So I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up. That is all for today. So the Home Hub, I love it. It's a neat little toy at 60 quid bargain 120 quid maybe think about it a little have a play with google assistant make sure it's what you fancy and as always guys thank you very much for watching so if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down not a problem as always if you want to see more of me click that little subscribe button and thank you very much i will see you all again hopefully next week and bye for now